In the offseason, I said that Justin Fields didn't, get, didn't really get a fair shot here because the offensive line was so terrible, he had to run for his life a lot and try to make plays out of literally being under pressure every single snap. It's getting harder for me to defend Justin Fields. It's getting hard for me to say that it's because of the old line or it's because of the skilled players. You've got DJ Moore now. That's a really good player. You are Justin Fields is holding on to the football entirely too long. Like I'm watching a bunch of I'm watching a bunch of like, you know, highlights and plays that have been shown on ESPN. He's just patting the ball, patting the ball. He's got guys that are open and he's still patting the ball like he doesn't trust what he's seeing. And he's holding the ball for like five seconds. In the NFL, you don't get a lot you don't get five seconds to hold on to the football without getting sacked or a strip fumble. We're seeing a lot of that with him and it's just kind of, it's it's becoming concerning because last year he wasn't doing a lot of that. Last year, he was taking off and running with the football. There's been rumors that the coaching staff is doing things to keep him away, keep him away from being a runner. Is it Justin Fields saying he doesn't want to run the football? Is it the coaching staff not wanting to use him as a runner? Which I think would be very stupid if you don't. So there's questions on both sides where it's like, we can talk about the GM. We can talk about coaching. We can talk about, you know, the executives, what they're doing and what they're not doing. But there's blame, there's blame on Justin Fields as well. He has to play better. He has to not hold on to the football so long, and he has to make good decisions. Holding on to the ball is not a good decision. You have to either take off with the ball because you have the ability to do that or make a play. We've seen, I've seen enough of Justin Fields in the NFL that he can make plays.